Last week on The Sonic Guy, it was an awesome episode. We were with Brandon and Carter from K94.5, helping them with the toy drive, getting toys for kids for Christmas, and it was fantastic. It was so good, as a matter of fact, we couldn't get everything in that we wanted to. So this episode, we're gonna show some of the stuff that was just too funny not to show you. So there's funny stuff, there's heartwarming stuff. Be sure and watch this episode and see the things you missed last week. If you did miss last week, you wanna go back and watch that episode because it is the new Christmas classic. I mean, some people like vacation, Christmas vacation, some people like Charlie Brown, but from now on, Sonic Guy Christmas Special. Oh yeah, th I mean this is it. You've got the uh, the studio <laughs> yep. and the bed. And the bed, that's really all. And the Nerf gun, in case someone wants to spoon too much, or what is the... Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> security is very important in a situation like this. So. Oh, security, home security, I yeah. got you. Yeah. I got you. So this one's kind of the perfect mix of everything. We got a window, uh, it's small enough to keep the heat in. You do have a window. So uh, I yeah. was hoping it was going to just be a glass wall. <laughs> I wanted I you guys to be like in a, in a giant like fish tank for the people just to come by and see. Just kind of poke on the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's remarkable what you guys are doing. Now we are actually going to be, our this video will go out next week. So you guys will be done with this, but it'll still be the week before Christmas. Sure. Because people are watching this, they're like, oh, I wish I would have been there last week for the toy drive. What can I do? Should I start saving toys for next year? Or that's can we do something? That's a great point. That's a great point. And that's exactly what we want you to do. We had a woman, and this is one of my favorite stories, who uh, the first year we did this was inspired but didn't have the toys. Mm -hmm. She didn't have, she couldn't go out and spend it. So the next year she bought a bike every single month. Wow. And then at Christmas she brought us 12 bikes. It was one of the biggest bike uh, donations we had. I think we're going to lose Adam. Wow. <laughs> Adam! Lose him. <laughs> Good Lord. You've been here all week. What's the most terrifying thing besides our roof being blown off right now? Uh, I think the weather by far takes the cake this year. Yeah, yeah. we had a 2 a.m. bike delivery the other night. But that's a good uh, surprise. Those are good surprises. Those are good surprises. Uh, haven't had any other bad surprises this year. No. We it's not over yet. <laughs> I don't want to chase it, but we did have a tent destroyed. So one far. Year, so. Yeah. Yeah, the worst thing that's ever happened is we've had, uh, I don't think it was technically a tornado, but a microburst destroy our tent. Picked it up, threw it over the box, slammed the center blind on the side of it. As bad as that sounds. <laughs> we had a lot of toys. We had a lot of toys come in the next day. The news coverage wow. came out. They yeah, were like, yeah. these guys lived in a box. The tornado tried to kill them, and then the toys just flowed. It was amazing. It really was. Brandon, I mean, this is so wonderful. This guy had a, um, you know, a tragedy in your life. Things happen. Sure. And you weren't able to provide, but instead of just staying angry about that, I, I you decided did. once you were able to, yeah. not, you started helping other people to not and have I, to go through that same pain. And I think, you know, beyond Christmas, beyond the toy yeah, yeah. drive, beyond everything, you know, as as human beings, mm -hmm. that's what we should do. Once you gain the ability to do so, yeah. then you have to. That's what responsibility means, you know. Mm -hmm. If you have the ability, then you have to respond. Yeah. To whom much is given, much is required. That's right. Uh, that's a Christmas kind of thing. Mm -hmm. well, but and anyway. The, and the other thing, too, I mean, just on that, you know, yeah. it takes two parties to make this happen. And we always talk about who's receiving. We always talk about, you know, what the need is. But we we, we don't focus mm -hmm. enough on the people who are giving, who are also receiving a present this Christmas. Yeah. You know, they're mm -hmm. able to give, and that's what it's all yeah. about. What's the coolest toy? The coolest toy? That's oh, you man. Laser tag. We had someone donate yeah, laser he's, tag. Yeah, he's yesterday. biased. Carter is a laser <laughs> oh. tag lover. Laser tag. <laughs> so if people, they decide, okay, I'm going to start buying a few toys this year right. after Christmas sales. I'm going to buy a toy. I'm going to put it in my closet. Yep. Next year, I'm going to bring it to the toy drive. Mm -hmm. What should they be stocking up on? What's the one that kids... Laser tag. Laser. Okay, laser, laser tag. Laser tags are good. <laughs> bikes are also great. So bikes and laser tag? Yes. Bikes, bikes and laser and tag. Laser tag. There you go. Laser bikes. <laughs> There are going to be kids all across the country next, all across the South next year with laser bikes. Laser bikes! That's, <laughs> That's like, the cool new trend. You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. Thanks to Carl. <laughs> I like it. K94.5, the number one hit music channel. We are the Morning Madhouse. I am Carter. I'm Brandon. And I'm Paul Reeser from Sonic. He's the Sonic guy. Come on, you don't undersell it. This is the guy uh, from the YouTube reality show, The Sonic Guy. He's very easy to find. Once again, it's just the Sonic Guy, right? You know, the Sonic Guy, Paul, and it pops up on YouTube and Facebook. And if you can't find that, then welcome to the internet. And uh, maybe you can find <laughs> someone young to help you out with that. 
Carter, we would we'd be happy to show you how to find that. If you come up here with your phone, we're going to get you connected. And also, when you come up here with your phone, bring a toy, okay? Bring a new unwrapped toy, bring a cash donation, and bring a bicycle. Why, Carter? Well, for the kids. That's why Hello. we're doing this. We're That's why. Uh, raising toys for Operation Santa Claus, Roy's Kids, and the Shriners Hospital of Shreveport. Uh, we've teamed up with a lot of amazing local businesses. Sonic not only has been feeding us, yes. but they've been uh, well, keeping the power going. So and they get kept us full of coffee, Carter. That's yep. that's an essential ingredient to the story drive. Hey, we appreciate it. We want to partner up with you guys. You uh, you guys are a lot of fun, and uh, glad we could provide food and power. And everybody, please come out and bring some toys here to the uh, Walmart on Airline Drive. And stop at Sonic. Come on. Good stuff. Powerful stuff. Powerful. I like it, man. I like what you guys are doing. Very Thank fun. Thank you very much. Thank you very much Appreciate for helping, it. man. You guys made it possible. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Good stuff. <laughs> so, uh, this toy drive here at the Jacks in the Box is going to be over before this Sonic guy goes out. But this Sonic guy is going to be out before Christmas. So, here's your opportunity. Where do these toys go to? Okay, so there's three uh, main folks we're helping out. Operation Santa Claus, they've been doing this type of operation for over 30 years. Uh, and they're connected with the Shreveport Police and the Shreveport Fire Department to help out families that are in need that they've identified throughout the year. Uh, Roy's Kids is another organization that uh, helps us out in Bossier City by identifying families that need help and uh, making sure that they're vetted and, and getting them exactly what they need. And then of mm. course the Shreveport Shriners Hospital where there's mm. kids from around the world getting world-class treatment wow. who are away from their families and really are so far for, uh, so far removed from home mm. that Christmas is kind of a abstract concept until we right. bring it home and bring them uh, the toys that, that are donated during this very toy drive. Right, so if you didn't make it out to the toy drive, it's mm -hmm. still not Christmas yet. The links to those three organizations are going to be under the show notes here. I believe right so here. Right here. Down, down here. Down there. Okay. So uh, you can still go to those places and take your toys to those then these kids can still get toys, even Man, if you didn't make it here. It, I, I gotta tell you, it is a Christmas Write me miracle. a letter and I will send you Ooh, look at this. The, uh, the, the, the free medium drink still. This one's mine though. <laughs> this, is a magic trick. this is good. Come on. Ha! <laughs> it was behind his Where'd ear the whole time. <laughs> that kills with like four year olds. I thought I heard that. <laughs> So that was a great chance to get to meet more, to talk more with Brandon and Carter. Great guys. Great stuff they're doing at K94.5. Hey, next week we are going to be back with a regular episode. We're going to be showing Sonic's brand new items coming out for January. It's brand new stuff, never before seen. You're going to love this stuff. 2019, we've got a lot of big things planned. We're going to be tasting, visiting, doing stuff. You're going to, not going to want to miss a single episode. Come back and see us.